Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I know I am excited. It is Friday. I love the weekend. Action News, Jack Sager right here, John Bachman, and this is our weekly Facebook Live show, Jack's in Action, where we tell you about upcoming events in our area. You can chat with me in the comments below. Hope you'll do that and join in, make this interactive. This week, we also have a guest here in the studio from Wolfson Children's Hospital, Madison White, here to talk about all of the great things that she does, but also about Christmas in July, the toy drive and the drop-off day. And uh, Madison, thank you very much for joining us, first thank of all. Thank you. Thank you. What do you do over there, Wolfson, first and foremost? Because we want to give people an idea of why they're giving. And so well, tell right. us what it is you do over there. I am a child eye specialist on the, at Wolfson Children's Hospital. I work on the surgery floor, but mainly child life in the hospital is providing psychosocial support to our children and families and that's through therapeutic play diagnosis education normative play but also preparation for procedures so give us an idea of a typical day for you and how important it is the work that you do for these kids who are in the hospital a scary scary yeah. experience yeah so like I said I'm on the surgery floor so lots of my kids are coming in for the first time coming in for surgery tonsils adenoids you know all kinds of different things and they're terrified because they've never had to go to the doctor like this and it's different Different than just shots so I'm doing a lot enough, oh my way. gosh right yeah so we're doing a lot of education with the anesthesia mask and talking about the special sleep and talking about how we're gonna keep them safe while they're sleeping and helping them get through that and a lot of times that's through medical play and toys that our community is donating yes and that brings us to why you're here that is Christmas yeah. in July what are you guys doing? You've got some examples here, but what, what do you hope to accomplish by this? So we live in a great community, and you guys have supported us through the whole year, but lots of times we are running out of toys come summer. So we have Christmas in July to make sure that we can provide toys year-round to our patients and families because we see so many, and we want to provide the same kind of care for everyone, and we love to give out toys. Yeah, you know, everybody hears about these toy drives in, mm -hmm. in, in the holiday season, Yeah. but here we are kind of halfway through. So, so you really have to give out so many that you run out. Yeah, yeah, and we, we love getting toys from you guys at Christmas time, but we love it to have it for the other parts of the year, too. So that's really important. So the importance, what's the benefit of having these toys for these, for these children? So they're in the hospital. They're not at home. They're away from their toys at home. It's an unfamiliar environment, and it's a scary environment. So having the toys, having an opportunity to work through their play, distract themselves from procedures and what's going on in the hospital is a great way to help them cope, but also help them stay a kid. All right, so everybody watching at Facebook Live right now, mm -hmm. and if you were watching this after this actually airs, which of course we invite you to do, share this with as many people as you can. That's how the word's going to get out. How can all of you help Madison and the kids at Wolfson? Awesome. So there's four main ways that we're looking for people to help us out. One is just donating online. We have our website, christmasjuly.com, that we can accept monetary donations. We also have a baby registry set up on Amazon, and those toys can be shipped directly to us. So that's super easy. That's easy. Yes. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Point and click. And then um, the... The drop-off yes, day. Yes, yes. When is yes. that? July 25th. So you okay. can actually come and deliver your toys to us, and we can put a face to a name, and we can see your generous donation. So the 25th, that's Tuesday, I believe? Yes, And yes. what time? You can come it's, to Wolfson, you can actually see thing. it. It's mm -hmm. all day? Yeah, okay. and we have some special visitors that are going to be there to help us collect the toys. Um, but it's, I believe, an all-day thing. All right, so you can give, make it as easy or as meaningful as you want, mm -hmm. right? You can mm -hmm. just click and make some stuff happen on Amazon. Yes. You can also uh, go to the website. I believe we have a link somewhere on Action News Jax. I sure hope we do. And probably on our <laughs> Facebook page, too, so yes. you can make it all one-stop shopping. Or you can actually go down to Wolfson and see what this is actually mm -hmm. doing, which is kind of cool as mm -hmm. well. And, again, it's that's awesome Tuesday all day. Yes. Awesome, Madison. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate yes, you being you here so and for all you do with those kids. Thank you. Thank all right, you so everybody, much. give as much as you can. We'll take it. All right, we have some exciting events to tell you about first, but... Uh, uh, let's get to Chief Meteorologist Ariel Nixon with your weekend weather forecast. We're going to heat things up as we head into the weekend for your Saturday. It's going to be a partly sunny day. Isolated showers and thunderstorms are expected, but unlike today and yesterday, on Saturday, those showers and storms are going to be able to work their way out towards the coast in some cases. So keep that in mind if you do head out to the beach. Temperatures on Saturday heating to about 94 degrees. It is, though, going to feel definitely like the triple digits. So make sure you, your kids, and your pets drinking plenty of water. On Sunday, showers and thunderstorms are increasing. It's still 
going to be partly sunny, but storms will be scattered across the area, meaning your better chance for rain going to be on Sunday. So if you want to do something outside over the weekend, maybe try to do that on Saturday. Your high on Sunday going to reach 92 degrees right on average for this time of year. John. All right, Ariel, thank you very much. Listen, before we get to the rundown here, let me just tell you, a lot of people are weighing in some great stuff here. So thank you for watching. Thanks for uh, being a part of this uh, uh, broadcast right now. We've got um, Sharon checking in, Faith saying she was grateful for Wolfson, the last ER trip that she had. Uh, hopefully that is the last one for her. Uh, we've got um, Jennifer checking in, and uh, Faith has a question. Do toys have to be new, or are they well cared for? They're new, new. toys, so we do want new toys, folks, if you can do that. Um, Jade says that Wolfson is great, that her daughter got her tonsils out, and I can't see the rest of it right now, but Jade, glad to hear that that was a good experience for you. So, wonderful stuff. Uh, Betty, loved the idea of our church children being a part of all this. Javier says, great job, Madison. So, well done, Madison, and she did a fantastic job. And uh, Prezi says, hello, um, and Faith, she's got our message. So, thank you very much. Linda, as well, hello to you. All right, so tonight, don't miss Sinbad at the Florida Theater. Sinbad, you know him. He's been ranked by Comedy Central as one of the 100 greatest stand-ups of all time. Comedian there, an actor, and has starred in leading roles in films like Jingle, All the Way, Good Burger, and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Tickets on sale still tonight. The Jumbo Shrimp take on the Tennessee Smokies tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday at the baseball grounds of Jacksonville. Tickets start at just $5. Comedian Huggy Lowdown from the Tom Joyner Morning Show is in town with Chris Paul tonight, tomorrow and Sunday at Comedy Zone. Huggy Lowdown, an Emmy Award winning comedian who can be heard snitching every weekday morning on the Tom Joyner Morning Show's Morning Commute. Tickets start at $20. Join Action News Jack's weekend anchor Erica Bennett tomorrow night at the Celebrity basketball, basketball Game. Local celebrities will play high school basketball all stars in the third annual matchup. This fundraiser raises money for 2,700 homeless students in Duval County. 2,700 of them. Tickets, $5. The event will be held at Paxson School for Advanced Studies. A performance of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee will be held at the Limelight Theater every night this weekend. The musical comedy centers on a fictional spelling bee and the quirky contestants who qualify. All right, here's an event that I am a big fan of. Join the World Golf Village at the Hall of Fame for a special behind-the-scenes presentation on all things rated, related to the Open Championship. That's the British Open for you non-golfers. It's led by historian Dr. Tony Parker. Hear his favorite Open stories, and listen, there are a ton of them. Check out never-before-seen artifacts. Play the old course on the golf simulator. I haven't done that yet, but I look forward to doing that. I also look forward to watching the Open this weekend bright and early with my cups of coffee. It's going to be fantastic. There is a three-hour pet CPR and first aid certification class this Saturday morning at Florida State College of Jacksonville's South Campus. Of course, we'll train attendees on how to prevent, recognize, and treat common issues with our pets. Help keep our beaches clean Saturday. There's a beach cleanup near the One Ocean Resort and Lemon Bar. Supplies, water, snacks, sunscreen, all provided pretty easy there. There will also be a kid's scavenger hunt. That should be fun. Learn about the upcoming solar eclipse this Saturday at the Bartram Trail Branch Library. A NASA solar system ambassador will be discussing this, this eclipse, which is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, folks. And attendees will then practice watching the sun through safe filters through a telescope. Here at Action News Jacks, our meteorologists are also gearing up for the solar eclipse. I know... Their chief meteorologist Mike Burrish is planning a trip to Charleston, I think, where it's going to be 100%, I believe. It's 91% viewing here in Jacksonville. I think it's 100% in Charleston. And Mike is full-on geek mode ready for that. And you can learn more by clicking on the weather tab at our website, actionnewsjacks.com. The 22nd annual Vestcore Bridge Run will be held in downtown Jacksonville Saturday night. The 5K race will kick off on Water Street, continue over the Acosta Bridge. After the race, runners can enjoy free food, beer, live music, and giveaways. Thousands expected to attend. Money raised will be donated to local charities. That is a lot of fun. Jason Isbell and the 400 unit are performing at the St. Augustine Amphitheater this Saturday night with special guest Strand of Oats. Don't miss this performance by the King of Americana. Jason Isbell is a two-time Grammy Award winner. He and his band are putting the finishing touches on a new album. Tickets are still available. 
The Anheuser-Busch Brewery hosting a Christmas in July networking event this Sunday. Get decked out in your Christmas sweaters. Wow, that won't be warm or anything like that. Uh, bring a wrapped gift to exchange. The limit for this white elephant gift exchange, five bucks. All right, this should be fun. Ticket to the event includes a free drink. That's per person. The Summer Movie Classics presents Scent of a Woman. hoo This Sunday at the Florida Theater. The movie starts at 2 o'clock. Al Pacino, of course, won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance in this. In was it 1992? Oh, oh, man, alive do I feel old. That is one of my favorite movies, by the way. Top 10. If you have not seen this movie, you have got to go find it. What do, they, what do the kids do? Netflix. Go find it on Netflix. This is a fantastic movie, and I can't believe that was in 92. Wow. Okay. Relive that movie magic there. That'll be a fun night. Tomorrow night on CBS 47, we sit down with Tom Coughlin for an exclusive 30-minute special, The Tom Coughlin J-Fun, A Legacy of Hope, Help and Hope, takes a look inside the local organization and their mission. Dan Hicken has been heavily involved in this for a long time. Tom Coughlin, they discuss the history and the huge impact that this organization has made on Northeast Florida. And again, it airs Saturday night, 7 p.m., CBS 47. And if you aren't going to be able to watch it, be sure to set your DVR right now for that. It's really great. Now, this event is a few weeks away, but we want, to, want you to save the date for the second annual Touch a Truck event. Action News Jacks partnering with our Cox Media Group radio partners to bring you this day of fun in the Regency Mall parking lot. I was there last year. We have Sky Action News Jacks, the chopper, the only chopper, news chopper in town. The First Alert Storm Tracker, that sweet decked out Jeep. That'll be there as well. The event is free. We do collect school supplies, though, so we hope that if you come by, you'll be able to bring some school supplies, uh, help us out there, and also donate those then to the Police Athletic League of Jacksonville. I sat on, I think it was a Harley there last year. Ooh, it's a lot of fun if you like vehicles. Fire trucks, police cars, all this stuff. Jacksonville, that is all of the events I have for you today. I appreciate you guys weighing in. Let's see here. Um, Jarvis weighing in on the Eclipse saying 91% is better than nothing. I agree. Crystal says, say hello for me. So, Crystal Suarez, I'm saying hello for you. Madison, do you know Crystal? Do not know Crystal. You don't know Crystal. Well, she says hello. <laughs> All right. Very good. Y'all, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio. Make sure to tune in next Friday as we gear up for back-to-school events. Yes, back-to-school is coming. On behalf of all of us here at Action News Jacks, we hope you have a great weekend and enjoy these last few weeks of summer.